Section 13 of the Baha'i Revelation by Thornton Chase. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Nicholas James Bridgewater. The Baha'i Revelation by Thornton Chase. Section 13. The Word of God. Hearken unto the exhortations of the unique friend with the ear of the soul. O people of God, the word of God is like unto a tree. Its planting ground must be the hearts of the people. Cultivate it through the river of wisdom and utterance, so that its roots may become firm and its branches surpass the firmament. Tablet of the World, 34 Hearken to the voice of the compassionate counselor, which is raised without veil or covering before the faces of kings and subjects, and invite all the people of the world to the Lord of pre-existence. This is that word, from the horizon of which the orb of grace is shining and gleaming. Tarazot 16 The world hath been kindled by the word of thy Lord, the shining splendor. It is softer than the east wind, and hath appeared in the form of man, and by it God hath quickened his advancing servants. In the inner part of this word there is a water whereby God hath purified the hearts of those who came unto him, and who were negligent in mentioning aught else save him, and thus he brought them nigh to the outlook of his great name. We have caused the water to descend upon the dead, and they arose, looking toward the shining and brilliant beauty of God. The heart of the world is aglow with the word of God. It is pitiable, should ye not avail yourselves of this warmth. Tablet The word which the most faithful God wrote hath appeared. It hath indeed descended into the form of man in this time. Blessed is the Lord who is the Father. He hath come with his most mighty power among the nations. Turn toward him, O concourse of the good. The Father hath come, and that which hath been promised unto you in the kingdom is accomplished. This is a word which was concealed behind the veil of might, and when the promised time came, it shone forth from the horizon of the divine will with manifest signs. Consider how great is the value and how paramount the importance of the verses, the word in which God hath completed his perfect argument, consummate proof, dominant power, and penetrating will. In the declaration of his proof, that king of unity hath not conjoined anything with them, for among proofs and evidences, verses are like unto the sun, while all others are as stars. To the people they are everlasting proof, fixed argument, and shining light, from the presence of that ideal king. No excellence equals them, and nothing precedes them. They are the treasury of divine pearls, and the depository of the mysteries of unity. They are the strong thread, the firm rope, the most secure handle, and inextinguishable light. Through them flows the river of the divine knowledges, and bursts the fire of the consummate wisdom of the Eternal. 
This is a fire from which two effects proceed at the same time. It creates the heat of love within the people of faith and produces the cold of heedlessness within the people of hatred. O oh friend, we must not depart from the command of God, but acquiesce and submit to that which he hath appointed to be his proof. Iqan 146-147 Verily, the Spirit of Truth hath come to guide you into all truth. Verily, he speaketh not unto you from himself, nay, but rather from before the all-knowing and wise. Say, he is the one whom the Son hath glorified, and hath upraised his command. Abandon that which is before you, O people of the earth and take that which is commanded you from before the powerful, the faithful. Purify your ears and turn your minds to hear the sweet call which hath arisen from the direction of Sinai, the abode of your most glorious Lord. Verily, he attracts you unto a station wherein you will behold the lights of the face which hath shone forth from the brilliant horizon. Say, verily, he hath surely shone forth from the direction of the Orient, and his signs have appeared in the Occident. Think thereupon, O people, and be not like unto those who neglected the remembrance when he came unto them from before the mighty, the laudable. Awake by the breezes of God. Verily, they have blown in the world. Blessing to whosoever hath found their fragrance and is of the assured. Blessed is whosoever is illumined by the sun of my word. Blessed is whosoever adorned his head with the wreath of my love. Blessed is he who was assured in my word, and stood up among the dead for my remembrance. Blessed is he who cut himself from all others than me, and soared in the ether of my love, entered my kingdom, and perceived the dominions of my might, drank the kawthar, fountain of my favor, and the salsabil stream of my grace was appraised of my command and of whatsoever was hidden in the treasuries of my words and shone forth from the horizon of inner significances in my commemoration and my praise verily he is of mine may my mercy grace favor and glory be upon him. Lohul Akdas The Supreme Pen Praise be to God, the True One, exalted is his glory, hath opened the doors of the minds and souls through the key of the Supreme Pen. Every one of the revealed verses is a manifest door to the appearance of spiritual virtues and holy deeds. Tablet of the World, 27 Through the motion of the Supreme Pen, a new life of significances is breathed into the body of words by the command of the ideal commander, and the effects thereof are visible and manifest in all the things of the world. Tablet of the World, 23. The supreme pen is that pen from the treasury of which the gems of wisdom and utterance and the arts of all the world have appeared and become manifest. Ishraqat 11. We exhort them to equity, 
justice, trustworthiness, and honesty, and to that by reason of which the word of God, as well as their own stations, shall be exalted among men. And I am the one who adviseth in truth, whereunto testifieth he from whose pen the running water of mercy, and from whose utterance the fountain of life hath flowed for the people of the world. Exalted is this most great bounty, and glorious is this manifest gift. Words of Paradise 65 The Day of Revealing This is the day wherein the speaker of the mount is established upon the throne of manifestation and the people have resurrected before god the lord of the creatures this is the day wherein the earth hath revealed her news and uncovered her treasures the seas their pearls the tree its fruits the sun its effulgence the moons their lights the heaven its stars the hour its tokens the resurrection its majesty the pens their traces and the spirits their arcana blessed is whosoever knoweth him ishraqat eleven shouldst thou make the mirror of the heart pure and clear from the dust of prejudice thou wilt comprehend all the symbols in the sayings of the perfect word of divinity in every manifestation and be informed of the mysteries of knowledge but unless thou destroyest with the fire of severance the veils of learning which are conventional among the servants thou wilt not attain to the brilliant morn of the ideal knowledge Econ 49 in this day a great banquet is celebrated in the supreme concourse for all that was promised in the divine books hath appeared this is the day of the most great rejoicing all must direct themselves to the court of nearness with the utmost joy happiness exaltation and gladness and deliver themselves from the fire of remoteness words of paradise sixty joy unto him who in this day casts away that which is possessed by the people and holds fast to that which is commanded on the part of god the king of names and the creator of things words of paradise 72 if the spiritual and divine eye of man be opened he will see that nothing exists without the appearance of the splendor of that ideal king for thou dost perceive that all contingent and created things express the manifestation and emanation of that ideal light and dost behold the doors of the divine resvan paradise opened in all things for seekers to enter the cities of intelligence and wisdom and attained ones to pass into the gardens of knowledge and power in every garden the bride of significances is seen seated in the chambers of words with full adornment and grace econ 99 end of section 13 recording by nicholas james bridgewater recorded in london England.